Hello and welcome back. Tonight on the channel we're going to do an unboxing of the Colt 1911 to 2011 Tier 3 100 year anniversary edition of the Model 1911. So, <coughs> excuse me, here's the outer box that these come in. And we'll just go ahead and start with that. And very un very carefully get this open here. And we'll go ahead and slide out the inner box we have here. Set this other one to the side. Now these Tier 3 pistols were limited to orders that were placed by November 30th of 2011. We'll set that other one there and you can see here the inner packaging here. And there was also a Tier 2 offered with polished Blue surfaces, uh, let's see, smooth Cocoboa grips, scroll engraving, it had 22 karat gold highlights and a display case, and those were limited to 750 of those pistols. Now, this Tier 3 pistol is offered with special edition 100th anniversary packaging, and part of that packaging is this little letter that's in here that explains the O1911 Anniversary 3. And um, this is based on the collectible Colt model O1918 configuration and finish. And here we have a letter from uh, Mr. Lowell E. Pauli, and he is a historian emeritus of the Colt Collectors Association, Inc. And a good little letter here explaining the uh, history and the significance of the Colt model 1911. And after that, we have this, uh, let's see, um, Ordnance Department uh, instruction pamphlet reproduction here of what they looked like originally. I'll just do a quick flip through there, some of the illustrations that are included in this, and missed the page there, and just a pretty cool little book there. We'll go through that really quick. Here we have uh, some of the the uh, lock that's offered with all Colt pistols there could be safe and let's see here we have the typical Colt packaging of an instruction pamphlet here and then over here we have a takedown tool with a screwdriver and a drift there and we have some other literature in that bag there uh, why to join the NRA and how that's important to protect the Second Amendment rights. And we'll go ahead and take our pistol box out of here and set the other box to the side. We've got some lettering here, model 1911, 100th anniversary model. Go ahead and open that up and we'll grab the gloves. And in this we have an extra magazine here wrapped in wax paper and we're not going to open that and we also now we have our pistol in here and we'll take this on out of its wax paper very carefully here and here is the pistol. Go ahead and move our paper over to the side here. And we'll go ahead and start to take a look at this. Now, this pistol is based on the uh, collectible Colt Model O 1918 configuration. And we'll start first with the finish on this. Now, the finish of the original 1911 pistols delivered in 1912 was a brilliant mirror-like finish that had been changed uh, several times by 1918. Now, the original finish was too reflective for a military pistol, and it also it, it wasn't durable enough. It scratched pretty easily. Now, this resulted in a few finish changes prior to World War I. Now, during World War I, in order to speed up pistol production, the pistol finish was left in the rough stage and it resulted in almost a black appearance as you can see in this pistol here and uh, this tier 
three pistol is meant to replicate that replicate that uh, what was called a black army look of the uh, World War One era pistol. Just that really rough finish in the way that the uh, bluing became almost black in appearance. Now it might be also noted that after World War One, Colt returned to the uh, brushed blue finish. Now similarities of this pistol to the uh, World War I configuration are, we'll just go ahead and start here with the, uh, as you can see, the absence of the finger clearance cuts. And then we also have a longer solid trigger here. And then we have, of course, these beautiful uh, double diamond checkered grips. I really like the look of those. And then um, we ha also have a lanyard loop here on the mainspring housing. And not one on the magazine by 1916 the uh, magazine lanyard loops, or in 1916, I should say, the lanyard loops on the magazines were discontinued. And then um, we also have a smooth and a straight mainspring housing there. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at the sights here on this. And you can see the sights right here are uh, just the standard military sights. And then also this pistol has a, a shorter grip safety tang on it. You can see here that this would result in the hammer bite that these earlier ones are famous for. Second, And then we also have the uh, 1918 style thumb safety on this. And then we'll go ahead and uh, continue to take a look at the roll markings on it. Here you can see we have the rampant Colt within the circle on the globe. And then we also have the Colt's patent firearms manufacturing company from Hartford, Connecticut there of course. And it says adopted March 29th of 1911, uh, United States Army there. And then we have the United States property here on the frame. And then we'll go ahead and flip it over, take a look at the other side. And we have model of 1911 to 2011. And then we also have serial number on this side. And just take another quick look at it. Go ahead and flip it over here. You can see the uh, barrel bushing, recoil spring cap, and just the uh, front side here, that very utilitarian, not very easy to pick that side up at uh, when you first start shooting with these of this style. But anyway, there you go. A nice look at the Tier 3 Anniversary Edition of the model 1911 produced by Colts. All right, hey, thanks for tuning in and watching. Hope you enjoyed this short video and have a great day.